Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Sam Studio. I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know before coming to Ghana for university. So if you're a student that's wanting to study here in Ghana, then you have clicked on the right video and let's get started. So the first thing is you need to have a good result from high school. If you're from a West African country, then definitely you need to have from A1 to C6 pass in Wasi. If you are from a French speaking country, then definitely you're going to have to pass your baccalaureate. But they don't take SAT, TOEFL or ACT test results because they're just two subjects. They don't take universities for granted here. So definitely you're going to have to pass like have a good pass to be qualified for university here in Ghana. This is something I have to address because I also had this misconception about Ghana. Um, Ghana is not as hot as everybody makes it sound like. They have a perfect and normal water condition like every other country does. They have rainy season, dry season, and Hamilton. So uh, the only problem is each weather overdoes itself like it's when it's raining sometimes it rains super hard when it's sunny sometimes the sun shines super hard um when it's hot it's sometimes there's too much cold so like it but it's not like that all the time it's like a balanced weather so do not let anybody tell you like um Ghana is super hot because it's not uh i remember a friend of mine told me like oh i'm kind of i'm coming to Ghana and uh someone told me it's Ghana's hot I was like, well, if it's hot, then why am I wearing jackets and stuff? Because I love jackets. So, like, do not let anyone tell you that, oh, Ghana is hot, da 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 da, because it's not true. The next thing is, as a university student, you have the option to live on or off campus. So, let's say, for example, you have a family member here and you want to school here, you don't really have to live in the school dormitory you can definitely stay at your family member's house because definitely as an international student your dormitory fee is going to be higher than every other person so um in each university they have their own dormitory but it's not mandatory to stay in the school's dorm so you definitely have the choice to choose if you want to live on campus or stay off campus if you want to live by yourself or find someone to stay with like you have all of those open options and I am gonna make a full video on the cost of living here in Ghana as a student who is in university so stay tuned for that one so the next thing you need to know is to remember to partake in extracurricular activity now I got this advice from one of my mom's bosses here uh, literally Ghanaians take extracurricular activities seriously if you enter their unis you're gonna notice that the reason being is because they are not really interested in your class activity sometimes when you go for job interviews it's like they ask you questions about other stuff unrelated to what you went to apply for that is because they want to be sure that you know how to do teamwork and um you have other hidden talents that it's not on your resume so definitely you want to partake in every single activity at school to help boost your resume the next thing to know is that transportation isn't complicated like there are transportation for everybody like if you're from a local or you're a middle class or you're rich there is definitely transportation for everybody so let's say you're an international student you come and you're not used to taking public transports there are definitely ubers and other driving services available here in ghana and there is also something called trotro which is for the locals mostly i take that sometimes and i also take uber sometimes it, de it depends on where i'm going how fast i want to get there and stuff like that but chocha is like the cheapest transport here most people take it even sometimes people from the high class you would definitely see them in chocha but they are transport for everyone and they have these coach buses that you can literally take if you're moving from another city to another like let's say you're going to tagrade from accra you can definitely take a coach bus or if you're going to komasi or Cape Coast or wherever there are coach buses and sometimes if you want to be extra you can definitely take a plane to go to Komasi and other places because they have their local terminal now. 
The next thing to know is do not pack your entire wardrobe. Now, a lot of people have the tendency to do that, like because they're moving from their home country, they're afraid that they are not gonna see something they're used to and all that jazz. But apparently, every single country you go to, there are things available for you. Even if it's not the same brand that you use, eventually you're gonna find something that's similar to what you use. So it is advisable not to pack your entire wardrobe. Like there are local markets, there are malls, there are stalls, there are boutiques, there are shops everywhere. There are roadside markets and stuff like that. You can definitely find anything and everything that you want here in Ghana. So definitely do not pack your entire wardrobe. And one of the things that is the most cheapest in Ghana here is clothes. So please do not pack your entire wardrobe if you are coming for school. Because definitely you're going to wear clothes until you're tired. The next thing to be aware of is that there are lots of fun things to do. There are places to go. You can go hiking. You can go um, on beaches. You can like go to parks. There are just a bunch of fun things to do. They have clubs. They have cafes. They have coffee shops. Like you can just do a whole bunch of fun things. You can rent out an Airbnb, find cheap hotels if you're like maybe a traveler and stuff like that and like just just everything for everybody here so definitely definitely you need to know do not be afraid and be like oh what if it's just about the locals and stuff like that no sweetie take your time take your time sweetie there are fun things for everybody imagine they have bookstores my favorite place to be even though i can't buy hard copies now because I don't have space. So if you're a person who loves to be by yourself, you can go to a cafe, you can go to a bookstore, you can go to art stores, you can go to art centers, like they're just everything for fun to do here. So they have fun stuff for you, they have fun stuff for me, and we all have our own fun stuff. So yeah. The last thing to know is that nobody cares about your status. Now, this is something that goes on in my country, so I decided to add this to the list. Like, back home, people really care about how you have traveled, how many places you have traveled, um, if your parents have money or not. But here in Ghana, it's like everybody's trying to be better regardless of what my parents have. I want to be better than my parents or somebody else. So everybody is like working hard towards your own future, so nobody have that time effort or energy to put in such things so it's like everybody move we cool but we're we all want something and we're working towards it so that's how it's like here so do not come with the tendency that oh i'm from this place so i mean i'm gonna have a lot of friends because i'm from this place or people are gonna butt kiss because i'm from this place that's not gonna happen sweetie it's a whole different story here so that does it for this video. I hope this video was a lot more informative than any of my other videos. Um, I posted a poll on my socials and you guys said you wanted to see content surrounding my stay in Ghana. So I decided to start giving you guys informative um, content. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you got some of your questions answered and let me know what other videos concerning my stay in Ghana that you want to see and I will definitely put that content out. So thank you guys again for watching this video. I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful night or day. I don't know when you're watching this video but stay you and peace. We're out.